Hey gang, uh, of record collectors and otherwise, uh, poor ilk. Uh, I want to talk today about, uh, probably the, the album I missed of 2009. Uh, I was a really big Pearl Jam fan growing up. Uh, I know, uh, DJ Hassa, he made a, uh, just absolutely killer video of sort of his, uh, romance with the band, uh, growing up. Um, I hope... Uh, you and Eddie Vedder can settle that paternity suit uh, out of order. You're a sexy man. I don't know why I want to admit uh, it's your baby. Um, but this is the album that I missed, which is Backspacer by Pearl Jam. Um, I been I heard a bunch of really good stuff about this album. The couple albums before that, I was like, God, it's not really digging it. Maybe they lost uh, what I see in them. So I didn't buy them. But I bought this because I'd heard really good things about it. And I actually bought it from their site. And let this be... Let this be a message, okay? If you're looking for something, go to the band's site. I paid ten bucks for this, okay? Ten. And this isn't a bag that I... This isn't a sleeve I put on it. This is a sleeve that the record came in and I just barely cut the seat. Ten bucks. Um, you know, shipping I think was six or seven. So I got a brand new record from them for seventeen bucks. And it, it's, it's cardboard. It's not paper. Oh, um, and it's a heavy-duty record, and it's got a whole bulk that came with it. Um, uh, but that's enough of that. And let me talk about the record. This is a great and absolutely fantastic uh, record that I, I've just thoroughly enjoyed. It's got the fixer on it. Um, it's not white vinyl. Uh, it's black, but I don't. At this point, it's such a good record. I don't care. Uh, but yeah, this is one I definitely felt that uh, I missed, and uh, I don't know if, if they, I, in my opinion, they kind of got out of form, or if they were always in their form, and uh, they didn't fit my mold of the band, which I know happens a, uh, to uh, us a lot, which is, oh, I don't like that record, because it's not like their other stuff, and so just listening to the record for it, this being a record, um, and it's one of the things, I've gotten older, I've really tried to drop a lot of my preconceived notions about particular artists. Uh, and vinyl is actually really... Actually, not only just mu musicians, but just, you know, just life in general. Get every, give everything a chance. If you don't like it immediately, maybe, maybe give it a second chance. You know, just to, if nothing else, just to make sure you hate it. Um, but I really like Backspacer. It's, it's got a lot of that uh, early to mid-90s kind of raucous fun part uh, that is... Pearl Jam, and there's a couple of more mellow songs on there. It's actually, in my opinion, it's a really good mix. I can't believe I didn't buy this album, uh, and I had to wait four years to smarten up and buy it. So that's kind of my pick of the day. Um, actually, wanted been wanting to do this one for a while. I had to do some, I had to do some other videos first. Um, but my opinion is, uh, check it out. At least maybe listen to it on YouTube. If you're gonna buy it, go to. Pearl Jam's website, it's 10 bucks. If, if I didn't buy the last one, I didn't think I, I don't think I did. Uh, go spend the 10 bucks or 17 with shipping. Uh, Pearl Jam takes excellent care of their fans and people that buy their stuff. They always have. Uh, when they fought Ticketmaster, I know they lost a lot of fans. But they did it because they thought uh, Ticketmaster had a monopoly of ticket sales on their fans and they thought that the ticket sales were too expensive. Um... So they've always been a very pro-fan band. Um, and th I think it really shows in uh, the uh, quality of packaging uh, that can that this album has. Like I said, it's not the heavy paper stock. It's heavy cardboard stock. I mean, it's like record sleeves used to be. And the quality of, you know, it's an audio, it's a 180 gram disc. It, and it sounds phenomenal. Um, check, I, it, you should check the record out, uh, maybe, like I said, listen to it on YouTube or something like that, you like some of the cuts off of it, go to Pearl Jam site, buy the record, I don't think you'll be disappointed, um, if you do, uh, I'm not gonna refund your money, uh, I don't know, you, you can trade it for 17, uh, Mitch Miller records or something like that, and then just, uh, prank your friends and send it to them, or threaten to send it to them for something you want, uh, but, there's my little word on Backspacer, album I missed in 2009. 
uh, catching back up with it. Already fell in love with it. Had it probably less than 10 days. Uh, phenomenal album, in my opinion. Uh, happy hunting. Uh, try not to spend all your wife's money. I don't have a wife, so that's not a problem, so... Uh, I just have to try to not spend all my gas money. Hmm. Alright, gang. Uh, see y'all later.